porn has taken over a lot of phrases that they shouldn't yeah. have, like yeah. gangbang. <laughs> yeah. And scat. Simp. Yeah. <laughs> Cream pies. I love cream pies. Guys, yeah, a I Boston can't. cream pie yeah. is so good. Yeah. Have you ever had a Boston cream I've pie? I've never had a Boston cream Aaron's pie. Aaron's had a rusty trombone. Dude. <laughs> yeah. From, yes. from Marie Callender's? That's, <laughs> that's where... That's the croissant with the chocolate inside, right? Yeah, that's what... <laughs> <laughs> You're disgusting, That would sir. be great. Right? That, that's a chocolate cream pie. We mm. should open a bakery and just everything has just like filthy sex names. <laughs> I'm sure it exists. Have you been to Dick's Last Resort? No. I, I don't like that place. You've been though? It gives me anxiety. Yeah. Why does it give you anxiety? Because... I don't go to a restaurant to be treated like that. That's fair. <laughs> and I sure as shit ain't going to pay for but it. But it's also like they take, like, it's you give an inch and they take a mile. And when I'm trying to get genuine answers, they're right. like, why don't you fucking guess? It's like, right. hey, man, it's $30. Like, why don't you tell me how much, it, like, what's in it? <laughs> they need, like, a safe word at Dick's Last Resort. <laughs> or, like, or, like, a flag. Just be like, hey, regular service. Right, right, right. That's fine. Have you, so have you heard of it? Is this place where they treat you like shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't don't want to go there. Well, you would want to work there, though. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. To be, to be, my style. To practice your roasting skills on people? I don't need to practice, bro. (laughs) That would be, that would be, it's only in Vegas, right? It's in San Diego, too. It's all over. Oh, Mm -hmm. really? Yeah. Oh, dude, I'd I'd do that for sure. (laughs) I'd like to be a busboy. Just like walk around with like a thing of plates. And just be like, you me, are fag. fat. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating so much right <laughs> you now. You take their plate as they're eating. <laughs> you don't need this. <laughs> You're done. You're done. <laughs> I wonder what rules they have for the people that work there. Because they have to have some sort of meeting before they go to work. Like, all right, stop. Don't call them spicks or niggers or whatever. Like, don't <laughs> I would <laughs> quit. I'd fucking quit. <laughs> That's not what I'm here for, bro. <laughs> I don't know. That seems like a cool job. Are there any other cool jobs that are... Astronaut. That's pretty cool. Is it cool? Or is yeah. It, it, it's like... <laughs> I think it's cool in theory. No. No, it's cool. It's dope. Think about it. You see the planet... I agree with George on this one. I would the love planet. to be an astronaut. Really? Yeah, it'd be so cool. Yeah, I think yeah. you guys are you guys are thinking about the fun part where they're already in space and it's worked out. I'm thinking about how much work it takes to become that an astronaut. That sounds like fun too though. Oh, like dude, right. you get to put on your spacesuit, go in the pool and pretend the and they Air pay Force you forty six dollars right? an hour. What's the path of to get become an astronaut? It depends. George. You can be a you scientist. Yeah. You can just oh, be an engineer. Fair. Yeah. You don't have to be a, like a test pilot. But you anything. also have to be like a at peak specimen no. physical. Nah. No, no. no NASA is a civilian. Nah, they like to send old people. People forget NASA is a civilian company. Like it's not a, they have military and government projects, but NASA is not a government entity. How did, oh, get ready for more yeah, Georgia knowledge. Yeah, dude, how did you not know that? <laughs> <laughs> how, right how, now, actually, I think NASA is working with SpaceX. Yeah, they're, they're, I knew that they, yeah, they got they team less up. funding. Yeah. Would you go to? I know Elon Musk is trying to do like tours, like little rocket ship tours or something like that. Is he? That's mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. I mean, he's trying to do everything. I do. I would not mind dying from an exploding rocket. Uh yeah, same. I would all. <laughs> I would. I would like though for it to be longer than like a roller coaster. You right. know, it's got to be. I think to exit Earth, it takes like a couple minutes. I. I mean, but I would like to do like a weekend in space. Oh. You know. Like orbit a couple times and come back down. Right. Like make it a little vacay. You're making this sound so nonchalant. I mean, that's what Lance Bass did with the Russians. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. Wait, Send did you say space. Lance Bass? Yeah. yeah. That dude from NSYNC? Yeah. 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 He went up in space in like 1999 or something. Get the. F- Are we joking? No. No, no, no. Real talk. For real. You could just pay to go to space, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, um, what's that guy that owns Virgin... Airlines, America yeah, or Bronson, yeah. Richard yeah. Bronson. He's like, I'm trying to make a plane that goes there. Meanwhile, the military already has a plane that goes there, so it just doesn't. Those really zero G planes? Uh, no, those Do those just go. Those whoop? just drop. Yeah, yeah, but they have. Well, they had like during the Cold War the um the SR seventy one Blackbird because that was before stealth technology existed. So we needed to fly over the Russia as fast as possible and take as many pictures without them knowing. So they flew up into the stratosphere and took like 30,000 pictures in an hour and then dipped. <laughs> Whoa. George, I feel like you use college correctly. I I didn't I barely went to college though. Exactly. No, well, what we're talking about now are just things that I wanted to do as a career path. Like sniper was one. <laughs> <laughs> so you researched them extensively. Yeah. yeah. Uh, astronaut was probably my first one. I I did want to be an Air Force pilot for a while. 
And in both of those, you might shit your pants. Yeah. Yeah, you probably will. So. Dude, I shit my pants regularly. Well, not regularly, <laughs> but like. You've ever shit your, not, not as dude, a kid. Dude, I shit my pants once a year, I think. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. No, not since I've, I've been a kid. Same. I shit I've my pants. shit my pants. Like, not, not like, oh, I got to take a shit. I'm just going to let it go. But like, oh, I fart. Oh, I didn't fart. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've had sharts, but they rarely like. But if shit comes out and it hits your underwear, that's shit in your pants. That's how I feel. I've never done that. All right, that. that probably happens like once every two or three years to me. Oh, okay. So you're you're a normal person, you yeah. fucking asshole. But it's like such a small amount that like I can continue through my day. Oh, sometimes. Oh. Actually, I, the last time I did it, uh, I had to go to the bathroom, take off my boxer briefs, <laughs> continue working. <laughs> did you take yeah. a shit while making eye contact with someone? <laughs> while making their no, drink? No, <laughs> I was, uh, it, was at, it was at another restaurant, and we were, we were empty. Like, we were dead, so I was just wiping everything down and um, making, like, big portions of juices, and so I, I was like, oh, I'm just going <laughs> to fart real quick. <laughs> the juices got to your head. Right. And I was like, oh. Good thing no one's here. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Next time that happens, I want you to be. You guys ma- have never shit your pants in adulthood, like no, oh, no. not to the point where I've had to change my underwear. No. I didn't change; I took them off. I just haven't done. Well, that. same thing. I don't what like are you sh- doing over there. Packing He's making my vape. Oh, drugs, man. I am um, confused. I don't know. I I don't. I don't know when I have to shit. If I like, if I go, I have to take a shit. That means we better find a bathroom in the next ten minutes. Wow. You can't feel like oh, like okay. I can, but it's never. You it's either I don't have to shit or oh I gotta shit. There's no like oh I I have to shit in and out. You don't get like a fart and you go like mm, that one felt like <laughs> fishy. It snuck past a turd on its way out. They <laughs> all feel like that. For me. That's the problem. It's Those usually, are warning farts, dude. No, well, it's usually the smell. I'm like oh that means the shit's near the hole because that shit's yeah, rank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rank. And that's when I'm like, okay, I got to go. Yeah. So. When it comes to, to sh- like, I'm good at controlling my, my butthole, but when it comes to piss, I can't. As you, as you both know, I can't hold that shit in. How would I know? Why would I know? Because I'm always peeing during this oh. podcast. Huh. Hmm. I figured I that was the alcohol in the coffee. <laughs> I no, I mean, like, I just don't. When it comes to holding my piss, I just can't do it. But it's easier, mm, to, it's easier to escape and pee somewhere oh, and come for sure. back. For, for us, yeah, for men, yeah. But yeah. I'm a problem on road trips, though, because I have to go often. Oh, well. <laughs> It's like if there's a bathroom, we should stop. No, well, when we when we go on tour, <laughs> no, we're, we're gonna Take go a on tour a plane. Bus. <laughs> no, we're gonna get a jet, bro. Do yeah. you know it's only like two hundred dollars or something to get a private jet between like six people to like Arizona? From California to Arizona. Yeah. Well, like, what kind of private jet are we talking sh- about? Like nineteen forty-five. Justin jet. Harper's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A, le- a legit Learjet. Like, it's not that expensive. So if you guys ever want to, like, you know, pre- pretend you balling, get some scratch together. Let's get a plane because that's very much in our wheelhouse. I'm down. You're not down, bro. Two hundred, two hundred dollars for six people. Something Ooh. like that. Who else is gonna go? I don't know. I'll pay the rest. I don't like any. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay the rest and be like, actually, it's three hundred dollars a seat if you want to come. There, there you go. go. Look at us, business. Let's take their shots, bro. Yeah. Oh, what's what's yeah. uh? What are, we, what are we shooting? It's not straight Jack Daniels. <laughs> that's all that matters. Thank God. It's a green tea shots. Mm. What? <coughs> what's in a green tea shot? Jameson, peach schnapps, sweet and sour. A little bit of lemon lime soda. Do you have a bunch of different recipes memorized? I have like, f- I mean, I guess so. Just what you accrue. But I would say I have like a five shots that girls are like, make me something sweet. So like mm. pink starburst, uh, green tea shots, uh, white gummy bears. Are there are there times when like you're bartending and someone walks up and orders a drink and you're like, oh, I haven't made that in a while. Let's see if I can remember how to make it. Yeah, but I'll usually be, I'll usually look it up. Oh, word! Like I don't want to fuck it up. You do it on your phone. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. They they. Do you tell them when you're like, oh, I haven't made that in a while? Let sometimes, sure if I... they're cool. For, I mean, if I have time, yeah. if if it's like a club night and I don't have time, I'll just look it up and make it. Do do people really order real drinks during the club? Yeah, that's fuck, it's that, fucking annoying. That's yeah. annoying. <laughs> <laughs> just get a shot. What, what would you consider a real drink? Like a margarita or a mojito? Anything mm. that really like if it's a shot it takes that, time to make. It, anything that has to be shaken mm. is kind of an inconvenience, unless mm. they're shots. Like if I'm making seven 
uh, white gummy bear shots. Right. That's right. that's fine. That's worth Ooh, it. But What's it, a white gummy bear? But it's a lot of it is with peach schnapps. Peach schnapps oh, makes everything good, dude. Delicious. If you want to just drink something, put peach schnapps and some orange OJ. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> that shit'll fuck you up too if you just delicious. keep keep down in it. Um, Can I tell you? I used to drink in college peppermint schnapps chased by water. You're an animal. How can you not drink nice. now? Because peppermint schnapps is like juice. It's like hypnotic. That I don't know. That shit would it give me a headache. So no, it, it was like drinking a mint every time. <laughs> I dope. had a um, I had a guy. I don't remember what event, but we were up in Big Bear. Like a bunch of us, we were in a cabin. And he was like, "Let's take shots," and he pulls out this fucking butter shots pucker. <laughs> Oh, my like, dad loves that shit. Okay, dude. We're trying to party here. You're coming up with pucker, dude? We're going to have to each finish half this bottle to get a buzz. <laughs> like, there's I no like alcohol. Pucker. It's Because there's yeah. no alcohol in it. That's it's sweet. Fair. It's all sugar. Yeah. I think you just don't like alcohol, man. Yeah, I really don't, don't that much. Nobody likes alcohol. Yo, so what I... <laughs> what they I like I, the way it makes them feel. Alcoholics like alcohol. Yeah, they like the way it makes them feel. Do you... Okay, do you like smoking weed? Yeah. And you don't think there's anybody who's like, I just enjoy drinking. I just yeah. enjoy the act of it. Yeah. Enjoy alcohol. You know what I don't think alcoholics enjoy alcohol. Right, okay. Uh, someone I who, do think someone like an enthusiast does enjoy alcohol. Someone who who likes the woody notes. They have a blog. Reserve. Yeah, mm. but I don't think alcoholics enjoy alcohol. I think it's a prison. Uh, all right, people that people that can drink and are, are not alcoholics. Like I think that they, someone can functional enjoy functional alcoholics. Yeah, sure, functional alcoholics. Like we are functional stoners. Yeah, I have family members that are functional alcoholics. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Do they have the shakes? No. All right. For now. Anyway, not what? that I know of. I mean, it's been a while. <laughs> right. You don't know what they're like behind closed doors. <laughs> true. I've only seen them drunk. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime we have a family function, like our family always drinks. So yeah, it's yeah. like that's how I. I usually work. interact with my family. I feel like there's more alcoholics in places like the Midwest because there's just less to do. Probably, yeah, and you can drive you so? way easier. <laughs> I could see that like environmentally, but I feel like the population density is so That's much fair. greater. I um, think like, the mm, coasts per cap. I mean, when you're in a place like California, everything per capita is higher be- yeah. just because. Right. I think it's rude that alcohol was illegal and then legal and then weed like just became legal. Yeah, and it's still being fought against. People are still trying to vote yeah. against that shit. Which I think is they wild. just haven't smoked a joint. Like, it's. I mean, you, you know, I'm assuming you know the history about like how weed became. No, tell us, Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> it's entirely possible. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it was just like <clears throat> it got associated with jazz, which was Negro music, and we can't we can't have our beautiful white women getting tricked into smoking the the, the reefers. You mean the improvisational black music? Yes. <laughs> Which is so crazy that now that's considered like elevator music. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think Muzak is still music, like because those are. I don't think jazz is played in an elevator. I think jazz style music is played in an elevator because I enjoy jazz. Okay. I enjoy like. Real jazz. It's the, like the, the sixteen-bit yeah. version of jazz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just to make sure that it's not awkwardly quiet when someone farts. In an Dude, elevator. I don't care if it's awkwardly quiet. I don't give a fuck. I know you don't care, but most people. I do. like that it makes other people uncomfortable. Actually, <laughs> the the silence. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been in a grocery store when the music goes off and it's just the squeaking of people walking on the floor and it's completely <laughs> uh, silent? I tell you what, I went grocery shopping this morning and I wore headphones in and it's the best thing ever, hey, dude. You- I. I always did it in college, but for whatever reason, when I moved, I just didn't. Mm. And uh, it's the best. It's the best. Blocking doing, everyone. Yeah, doing things by yourself with headphones in. It's like, oh, thank this God, is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. What happened with that fight, by the way, outside of Worthington? <laughs> I wanted like, did you see what happened? What fight? The one on Thursday where they ran out of the other restaurant. Oh, you guys make it sound like it was happening no, no, no. at Worthington. No, he no, did. no. He did. I, I mean, I was like, what fight? I, I was, what is the? <laughs> you mean the fight in downtown Riverside? I don't know. It was a fucking <laughs> the brawl, brawl dude. in downtown. Did you Riverside? not see how many cop cars were there when we left? We like, just saw. No, I saw one. Oh, one. by the like, there was like five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. It was across the street. We were already closed. That's why I was asking, making sure everyone was gone. I was like, "Hey, don't go this way." Because have you ever been in a brawl, George? It's like, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no. no, I don't think so. Okay. I try to avoid those places. Like, I think I can handle myself 
in a, in fight. a hand-to-hand altercation. I don't, I'm not saying I can kick everyone's ass, but like I can get it to a point where I can separate myself and I can keep myself relatively safe as long as people aren't shooting like pellets at me or something. Like as long as there's no projectiles involved, I think I can handle myself. But group, group brawls—that's too much chaos. What if someone's brandishing a knife? You think you can? That handle doesn't. Them? That doesn't scare. I've had someone like pull a knife on me. Okay. You're re- that doesn't scare it you. D- it did at first. <laughs> okay. Here's <laughs> this fucking psychopath. It's every not episode. Psychopath. It's it's a confidence. It's and it's um. It's <laughs> confidently a Bru- getting stabbed. It's a, Bruce, yeah. it's a Bruce Lee thing, and I didn't notice until someone actually pulled a knife on me. Where um, Bruce Lee, th- his, I guess, observations is that like the best weapon is yourself in terms of like creativity, in terms of options, choices, and ability to control. Like you can't. You, d- there's nothing you can control better than your fingers. Like you have such finite or such articulate movement. Like you are the best weapon. And his idea is that if you have a knife now in your brain, your only weapon is the knife. I mean, so guns you're are not, also you're not thinking about it. I mean, yeah. But then again, your gun is the like once you're out of bullets, throw with a gun. Yeah. What do you what are you going to do? You know, most people won't square up. So. I've had someone pull a knife, and it was scary at first until I realized that like he wasn't coming at me with anything else. It was like, oh, so he only ha- he didn't have you know fucking Winter Soldier f- no knife skills no, no, and only Filipinos have that. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> it's called a screamer, and only with butterfly knives. Yeah, <laughs> dude, fucking yeah. wait a scream a what a, sc- a screamer? It's a uh, they're called they you fight with a uh, kali sticks. and it, it's a martial art that was developed in the Philippines. Hmm. It's not useful. <laughs> like <laughs> unless you have two sticks like at all. yeah unless you and your opponent both decided you were going to bring your two sticks to the club today <laughs> uh, this looks like some ninja turtle shit it is it's yeah. cool but it, it helps develop hand eye coordination for sure mm-hmm. for sure and getting cracked by one of those sticks <laughs> this sucks. kid's an assassin <laughs> this kid's been through some shit probably oh yeah like if you can sneak up on someone with some Kali sticks like that, like they're solid. You could do some damage, but mm-hmm. it's as a martial art in terms of usability for self defense is not effective. Not at all. It's terrible. So if someone pulls a knife on on Will, uh how do you handle it? Um I probably just back up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they can't do anything. That that's what I was saying like when the guy pulled the knife on me, I just Stayed out of range. Yeah, was get something fine. between me and him. Yeah, mm. like you put a table between us, dude. We're the same person. We're I don't care fine. If you, yeah, unless of course you have like a ninja headband, then I'll be concerned. Okay, okay. Well, if you're wearing that Naruto <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. If he's got like on his side, it's not a gun. It's like a sling of shuriken. Yeah, then we just yeah, different probably. size knives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just opens up his jacket. And there's an assortment <laughs> for ranges. He's like, oh, and I brought my sword, and he and he's just like fingering through him, and he's like, how tall are you? <laughs> <coughs> and you're like what like 160 170 somewhere in there okay i, I use the titanium right. i i okay i get your logic with things like switch blades or whatever like like street knives but i guess if someone takes out some sort of precision weapon then i would be more concerned i feel like why do you have a sword if that's my person. argument for having the machete by my bed. Fuck your machete, dude. <laughs> so, like, you see some a white dude with a machete? Dude. You're, if you do you're the proper running, stance. You're oh, running away, dude. Oh, you got two swings, maybe. <laughs> I'll chop your hand off. Maybe. You, your and, shit is dull. <laughs> yeah. I'll chop your hand off eventually. Dude. <laughs> I'll catch it in my fucking forearm and punch <laughs> you in the goddamn face. I'll deal with this problem later. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Oh. Fuck your machete. I would love to carry around a sword, though. Split That's... your arm down the middle, dude. dude like between you, the. You fucking... better sharpen that with some diamonds or something. I just might. <laughs> <laughs> you pick machete? No, I, I think I'd choose a katana. That, that's my choice of sword, bro. You don't know how sword. to use a katana. I do. Now I'm not great at it, but it is a. Uh, it's. I do. I have. Mm, have mm. they're heavy and it's um i bet they are it's like it's like cutting vegetables when you use a katana like if you think about a european broadsword or or like a lance you yeah. think a lot about it, but poking a lot of swing stab but with a katana yeah with a katana the blades yeah, on I one know what side a katana is. You and it goes what a katana is? T- it's Did you never play grand theft auto no. no. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Why no, like, play that? there's different types of swords, and uh, I want to know the vibe. For of me, it. a katana is is functional Samurai because shit, it's it's a it's a you're not supposed to fight like a lightsaber with a katana. It's not 
designed to for like a European sword for hand to hand combat. A katana is designed to pull out, swipe, put it back. <laughs> I feel like George is our Joe Rogan. Sure. Yeah. If if it comes about ninjas and ninjas and shit, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. In fact, you're not supposed to put your sword, your katana back until it's drawn blood. Of the rules? Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's like a gun. so much for that guy on Ellen that shot those <laughs> apples in half. <laughs> it's like a gun. Like, don't point it at something you're not going to shoot. Like, don't pull your katana out unless you're going to kill someone. Right, right. Bottom line. And they give you two so that or it stays balanced. Or chop tomatoes for world records. <laughs> yeah. That's the more respectful way to yeah, use a katana. Yeah, in the air. It's yeah, actually really so hard to use a katana. Like, you, those... um. Those those like straw mats that you lay out for like picnics and stuff that yeah. cost like four dollars. Like if you roll those up, you roll like five of them up and you put them in a tight roll. It's supposed to be like the consistency of a, a human body. Oh, okay. in terms of thickness and how hard you're. That's why they the the samurai used to use people like prisoners to ch- test oh, <laughs> test word. the edges of their blade. Okay, and apparently America wasn't cool with that, so they're like, all right, we'll use these mats. <laughs> but so apparently <laughs> that's how I learned how to use some a people weren't cool with using prisoners <laughs> as weapon testers. A lot of them were Chinese. Oh, well, um, that makes I mean, uh, all right. That's Jesus. fine. Then. <laughs> 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 but cu- cutting those mats is where I learned how to use a katana. And I, I, I never cut one clean all the way through. Like it's hard to use. And so if you have a katana, you don't know how to use it. And you're probably fucked. It's like having an unloaded gun. Yeah. But if you have a katana, you probably know how to use it. Nah. I doubt it. No, there's a lot of collectors. Yeah, a lot of bunch of fucking true. nerds making TikToks walls. and shit, pretending, I'm going to yeah. cut through this water bottle. Uh-oh. Yeah, like the people that own those stores in the malls that sell <laughs> shit like that are not like... <laughs> those swords are garbage. They They're have, not like hand-making those katanas. They have those in Hawaii and Michigan, those those sword uh, stores. Yeah. yeah, they have those yeah. everywhere. Dude. Nice. There's nerds everywhere. Yeah. There's dudes and, everywhere. And That's what that store is terrible. For. Yeah. It's fun. To, that's a good like window shopping store They're yeah like, oh shit that's yeah. the sword like, oh shit that's Warriors. iron man's helmet yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah or what it looks like and they let you touch it and shit and you're like that's oh cool. that's cool can we fight i want to fight all right so i'm a katana you're a machete what do you what do you what guns, bladed when you're carrying a gun you pick the yeah, worst we're going guns, bladed though. weapons we're going bladed weapons yeah, a bayonet on his <laughs> 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 on his revolver i want something like, made of 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 um of vibranium yeah i knew you were gonna say that yeah Okay, well, what do you want made of vibranium? A skeleton. Jesus he can Christ. be Wolverine. Yeah, I want not a bladed weapon. He, yep, is no, he is a bladed weapon. Coming out. Oh, yeah. my yeah. God. I'm weapon gonna weapon one losers. through nine was fail. So yeah. he's weapon 10. Weapon X. I'm weapon X. You don't want like a rapier, like a fencing sword? Lo- that's my second option, by yeah. the way. I would love to poke somebody of like 18 yeah. holes and be like, you're fucked, dude. What are you going to do? Arya Stark style. Yeah. I think I just don't know anything about the different bladed weapons i only do because of dungeons and dragons <laughs> i only do because i love swords yeah there's a there's a show or was a show on nbc that got canceled called revolution i don't know if i've told you guys about the show it's like a post-apocalyptic all the guns have been destroyed they're out of bullets already so now what they're fighting with is like uh they're like, it's like a swashbuckling post-apocalyptic film it's like pirate type weapons that sounds like but fun. with uh, like we're going to take the capital me matey <laughs> but with like regular people where they're like this is all we have left uh, these fucking these cutlasses <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's crazy but i would love to live in a world like that a scimitar <laughs> what the fuck is a scimitar so like a curved sword like, oh it's like the alibaba sword yeah yeah nice. yeah yeah. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> I think that's what fascinates me about swords. I don't know swords. what Alibaba is, to be honest. Uh, like the Aladdin sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I gathered that, but I don't know what. Oh, oh the swords the Arabs use, you mean? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the Arabs. <laughs> yeah, say those, it those Middle Easterners. <laughs> those Towleys. <laughs> Not Howleys, Towleys. <laughs> uh, what were yeah. you saying? Just sword technology. You'd want to you, you, you'd wanna live in a world like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's more fun for you. You know how cool it would be if every four years the presidency was earned by conquest? Yes. That would be dope. We'd have a lot younger presidents. We'd We'd have have the rock for president. We'd have some real problems. (laughs) We'd have some... It'd be be like hell every four years. That's... Yeah. Or don't even... president would be 22 years old Don't even put like a time on it. Just be like whenever you're ready to... 
Where <laughs> <laughs> whoever <laughs> says they're done. Yeah. So you want it Wakanda style because that's how it is. Whoever. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever overthrows. And you have to get on to, on top of a waterfall. Yeah, that would be craziness. But you can't use firearms. Yeah. It that's un-American, be, bro. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't want to destroy the country. Yes, we're, it's our, it's our, we just want to have a a conquest for the throne. I think it'd be interesting. I would want to watch one of those. Um, what are those called? When the two cowboys they walk. Away from each a other, duel. A du- yeah, like a, a a gun duel, like that'd be sick. Okay, Hamilton. You could go to fucking Calico and they'd recreate them. No, like, I want to see some. I want to see some real. You want to see some bloodshed? <laughs> just just pay two crackheads, give them both a six a six piece and a, a bullet, and be like, all right, go. I'll buy crack to the winner. That'll be fun. Let's do that. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> be crazy. What drug would you be willing to do? Like right before you, like when you're old and it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, all of them. I don't yeah. Know the fuck then. Are you gonna get one? I'm not against any drug. <laughs> I have drug. an IV in, and they're like, "Which one do you want, dude?" Yeah. Not an opiate. I'm not. I'm not interested in the drugs that remove me from here. And like, I I like psychedelics, but like opiates where they kind of sedate you. Yeah. And they're supposed to, to kill your pain, but they dull everything. <laughs> That's not. That doesn't sound fun to me. Um, heroin sounds fun. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't heroin dull you? Th- that's why I said it in, in first. Hero, the way they they makes heroin sound sounds great. Sounds like it's blissful. Like a, bliss. It's just yeah. a big warm hug, right? That's what I've heard it. A warm as. hug that smells like s'mores. Mm. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Fucking in. Delicious. Yeah. All the drugs, I guess. Why not? Yeah. Well, what would you choose? What is that? Um, um, it's not heroin. It's they have them in oxy. No fentanyl. No <laughs> cocaine. No. Crystal no, meth. No, the uh, codeine. I think it starts with an M. Lean. No M and M's. Methadone. I don't even know what that is. But it's like to wean people off of drugs. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> morphine. Okay. Oh, morphine is like the or the original opium. Well, you'll probably get that anyway when you're dying. So yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. I've, I from what I hear, morphine sounds delightful. I mean, it's just a painkiller. Morphine is just in a liquid opiate, and so like oxy's are just a pill form of morphine. Oh, more or less. Just take oxy yeah. then. Go for it, dude. This seems easier. You yeah. have to. You have some oxy, bro. No. <laughs> Come on, bro. Just be honest. I don't. No. Do you know that the uh, the technology behind oxys is just the coating around the pill? Like they figured out their whole that pharmaceutical company technology that allowed them to patent the idea of oxycontin is just the time release coating outside of the pill. So it's like powdered form of morphine and a time release pill that allows you to control the dose. How the fuck did pharmacies not? get shut down like that they just seem like drug dealers at this point i mean they do a lot of good yeah <laughs> like i'd say they do more good than harm in general like blood pressure medications yeah, all yeah. that bullshit like so if you just if i'm a drug medication. dealer and i also sell apples and celery and shit does that like balance it out i guess no i would <laughs> say that they they're solving issues you yeah. know the apple and celery is just providing good nutrients in your grocery shopping but what pharmaceutical companies are doing are are attacking problems head on you know like covid and then they kill six people and they're like oh we can't use any of these vaccines oh, the the jj yeah it's stupid just, yeah, kidding. I just <coughs> fucking that's the risk bro welcome maybe you shouldn't even go drive <coughs> leave your seatbelt off while you're at it fuck it it's annoying when people use that that like it's annoying when little things like that happen it's like it's six people out of f- how millions yeah and and you know that's a whole thing it shouldn't be though people are fucking stupid yes <laughs> yes yeah something that always happened and would have happened anyway mm-hmm. we just know about it now like uh, like before the internet and shit you wouldn't have known about it yeah well i think that the like those type of people look for those stories because it makes them feel right yeah yeah, yeah. i yeah, remember being true. stupid too fucking <laughs> it wasn't hurts. that long ago was it it's like yesterday bro yeah. <laughs> i do stupid shit every day every day i go in and out all right what's your choice of gun then you fucking oh wow okay We're going shotgun there. Because I mean, I can't aim. I suck at that. Just f- fuck it. Whoever's in front of me, get the fuck out the way. Hmm. Do I have to choose just one? Yeah, you're, this is your primary weapon. So. Oh, primary yeah. weapon. Shotgun. Yeah. 
This dude's wow. boozer over here. Bold. As soon as you hear that thing, rack, <laughs> and he's no. like, and over my shoulder, rocket launcher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to aim, bro. Just fucking aim and squeeze. Yeah, man. As soon as you hear that, <laughs> run. <laughs> uh, you go first because I'm still thinking. Because I don't really know guns that well, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, what's your what's your main on Warzone? Uh, I don't. Uh, I only know the blueprint name. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Rocks and cocks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I choose. I probably have an M14. Sure. I mean, dude, I'm, I'm gonna go AK47. AK, AK is very versatile. Yeah. You're not. You're not wrong. You can fix it with a rock if yep. it breaks. <laughs> very little. Very little goes wrong with it. Because there's like six moving parts. It's one of the few things the Russians did right. Yep. They yeah. made the they made the AK forty seven. Kalashnikov made AK forty seven. World War two. Yeah. What's your favorite war movie? Ooh. Oh, I'd have to break it down by like scenes because I think the most realistic is probably Saving Private, Private Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, so yeah. good. Um, really good. In terms of a whole movie, just for entertainment value, I think I really enjoy Black Hawk Down. I, dude, I was gonna say that too. I've never seen. Oh, Black Hawk dude, Down. that movie's good. fucking sick. It's good. Yeah. It's like I mean I know where they got the idea for uh, zombies now. What what is Black Hawk What you heard? <laughs> what is Black Hawk Down about? It's um this Desert Storm. It's yeah, it's Desert Storm. So like, this this like right uh, when we were born, this ninety one Spec Ops group, or they're picking people up because Black Hawks are they're transport choppers, mm. and so um they get attacked in the middle of like a I think it's Mogadishu, and yeah, they're going into exfil some leaders of yeah. the. Other and the bad and, people, and like you said earlier, somebody with a rocket launcher goes, and that's that's, and the it, movie. that's, and, how, that's and how it starts. The Black Hawk crashes, and, and now so they, the whole now movie, it's a rescue mission. Yeah, now the whole uh, movie you have Marines, waves of Marines going in to try and save these like four guys. It's fucking so good. Yeah, and these <laughs> four guys are in the middle, like literally town center. With hostile terrorists, Somalians, and all shit like that, they want to part out this helicopter. Thirteen year olds with they wanna, guns. Yeah, they want to take the guns. Like they, as far as they know, this is like you just drop treasure in their town, and this whole town is attacking these four dudes, and they're taking fucking cover in this Black Hawk. Shit's intense, bro. It's well, really I mean, it's good. it's dude, in a, in a Josh movie. Hartnett. You know, oh, what I mean? that's right. Yeah, you're making me want to watch this. It's, it's really good. It's good. All right, yeah. all right. It's is accurate. It on, too. Is doing this on Netflix. I don't know. I feel like it's on American Netflix because they want you to join. You know? Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right I got like Dude, it is how weird how when you're watching like Call of Duty League, how many army commercials there are. Also, why are the World of Warcraft commercials more convincing than the army commercials? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're like they're like I'm way easier, not easier, but just the way they present it. I'm like, you oh, yeah, why? I want to fight for Azeroth Be- because the demographic <laughs> of people that will join the army on a commercial is way different than people that are playing. I'm, uh, they're stupider is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. I the mean, people that are going to get talked into joining up on a commercial, they're dumb dumbs. They don't have to try harder. I, I just, and the commercials are never like good. Yeah. It's except always the, the except same. The Marines one. Cause they have a sword. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just like transparent a saber. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah. Well, but if they got, if they made them like too subliminal then people would be like, that's fucked up. You what know? do you mean? Like if it was, if it was not as like direct as they are, then people would be like, "Why are you like try tricking us to?" No, I mean in the art of making a commercial, it is so obviously pandering and like dumb. Oh, yeah. Only a dumb person could get tricked by that, or someone that loves America. Or Speaking of dumb person, you mean a I'm dumb gonna, person? I'm going to change my answer to favorite war movie is um, Star Wars: Attack of the Clones. That's so, not Jesus Christ. That's not a war movie. <sighs> How is it not a war movie? It's a sci-fi movie. How George, is it not a war movie? I was so excited when you said Black Hawk Down and Will was like, yeah, and then you described it, and then you switched to Star Wars, and I was like, oh, yeah. How is it not a war movie? <laughs> a war takes place in it, but it is not a war movie. Science fiction war? Because it's not real. It's what? sci-fi. What? <laughs> you can mix genre. Ugh, this is, then we're going. We're You're getting such back a purist. into this no, that's, it, that's like saying the Mandalorian is not a Western because it doesn't take place in the West. Well, oh, here we go. It's, uh, it's wrong. Well, yeah, you can mix genres. <laughs> like not, you can have both. West is, Western's not a location; it's a style that doesn't involve lasers. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another one was good. Was um, 
with Shia LaBeouf, uh, Burnfall, uh, and and dude from Fight Club. What Fury. Fury. Yeah, that one was good. That was the tank Fury. one. Yeah. Fuck, man. That was really good. Oh, so good. Tanks are uncomfortable. You guys ever go in a tank? No. Dude. Have Fucking you? Coll- yeah. How? Yeah. He grew up. He grew up on Hawaii. There's they army shit there's everywhere. Military base. My family's yeah. military. Like, I'm why? What do you do with a tank on Hawaii? You like drive it 14 miles and you're like, well, I guess we got to turn around. You just run over everybody's surfboards. <laughs> do you want a real answer? Yeah. Yes. Um, just go you, up the mountain. Well, I mean, most of them are there as like a reactionary force. Like that's why Hawaii is part of the United States is because it's strategically a good spot. Like if something happens. In Europe, we can now attack from both sides. If something happens in China, we can send things from Hawaii over there. Like, yeah, it's there to wait for transport. And like, without Hawaii, like we couldn't go to Asia direct. No, and they couldn't. Yeah, either. Yeah, so that's why they bombed it. Because it used to be Midway Island, and then right. the Japanese people were like, nah, and the Filipinos were like, nah. This is gonna make me sound like a hippie, but. I don't know why. I don't know why we all can't just chill out a little bit. You know, like the way you're describing all. It's like, ah, oh, you're making all. You're doing all this work to murder people. This seems like a lot. I think in at, at like its core, like I'm not pro military industrial complex, but I I genuinely think the warlords included, a lot of it is like, it's an economical decision. It's a decision of resources. It's like like. Like when the Taliban fights America in Afghanistan, it's not them committing terrorism. It's them going, why are you here? Like, you don't belong here. No, no. I'm, I'm On their part of defending yourself, I get that. I mean the uh, going out and fucking with people. Like, I just don't understand why you go out and fuck with people. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I mean, but that's America. We're the yes. world, that's the, what is it? That's world what police. We we're the world police. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that's also like we a NATO. We gotta fucking show them how it's done. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's a deterrent. It's a show of force. Mm. That's why nobody fucks with us. Because <laughs> we have swords. We should just always No, it's because we have nukes. What are you talking about? Everybody has nukes. Yeah, but we got a lot. Everybody <laughs> has a lot. I think we're crazy enough to use them. We're also far enough away from people to you know, where we don't give a shit. I don't think nukes are as big of an issue now. I don't think that's going to be the... Judgment Day and all be all mutual destruction. It would be way more fun if we were hostile with Canada or Mexico. <laughs> you know, like we would live such more intense lives if, like, right next door, be like North and South Korea. Yeah, dude, like that, that's such a different dynamic, dude. Like you'd go out being like, I wonder if I'm gonna have to get in my bomb shelter today. <laughs> you know? Did you see the dude who escaped from North Korea? That video, and then they shot Is at this him. Recent, yeah. yeah. Uh, a year or two a couple ago? years ago. A couple years ago. No, you're talking about the video where the dude was like running he's across just, the bridge. Yeah, he's like dipping. dead sprinting. Ooh, they this, shot him yeah. and he kept going. Yeah. Like, what are they doing to him where they're like, oh, no, we got to kill him before he gets there. He's going to tell everybody. Holy shit. He escaped, too. That's yeah. crazy, Good for him. Dude. Also tells you how bad they would be at war in general. Like, they, 30 of them could barely hit one dude. <laughs> one civilian. On an open bridge. Like, <laughs> well, you never played Warzone? You don't know how to yeah, lead dude. your shots a little bit? You never go on the bridge. <laughs> He got hit like a couple of times. Yeah, he still got out. <laughs> Jesus. For him. Wouldn't it be cool to go to the DMZ? Like that little station. They just have that one little station that where the guards are. You is, know what I'm talking about? Isn't it where the, like it's all it's all the way across. Yeah, though. but like where Donald Trump went to Oh, the, there's the middle yeah, that main one in the middle, but like it's like the Great Wall of China. <laughs> it's like all the way across there's things. Yeah. Little pillboxes. And they stand in that ready rock stance, yeah. that ROK, <laughs> Republic of Korea. I think is what that stands for. Probably. I want to I wanna go there. You want to? Yeah, I think it'd be cool. Wait, where do you want to go? The DMZ. To would like the main one that you always see on TV. Would you go to North Korea? No. Yeah, dude, if they invited me, yeah. Right. You should. Fucking Kim Jong-un would love you. He That's loves true. black people. That's true. Does he? Yeah. yeah I know he likes. He likes Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman's not black. He's a different thing. He's not even a human. He's an alien. Yeah. yeah Dennis Rodman's a alien. fucking alien. That's fair. Um, but uh, Dennis Rodman is trying to live his best life. He, sure. And he is. His let's, best let's alien be life. He is. <laughs> oh, he's having a blast. I watched uh, Last Dance. I saw what he did in WWE. He's a fucking monster. He's crazy. Yeah. Um, but no, nah, fuck that. I'm not going to North Korea. Hmm. The, would, everything's catered to you. Yeah. Like everything is perfect for you. It sounds like a great vacation. Yeah. They would manicure everything. Yeah. Nothing would be real. You would be sitting in this north <laughs> this North Korean dude's house pretending it's a Kmart. 
when there's a fucking yeah. restaurant inside. Yeah, this is just where we eat all the time. Really? There's yeah. nobody else here. They're like, we're going to bring you a chicken, and it's like a bald eagle. <laughs> <laughs> they pluck it in front of you. And you're like, this is pretty big for Korean a chicken. chicken. And Korean. then they're like, well, ours are bigger than yours. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Did y'all see the, uh, the UFO video? No, I've seen many UFO videos. There's one that came out recently where the government was like, "Yeah, no, that's that's aliens, basically." <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. I don't know fake news, but aliens is real. You think al- you think aliens have like come to Earth? Yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> yeah. you've seen the pyramids, haven't you? Duh, a dur, a dur, <laughs> a lor. Duh. Have you seen the Stonehenge, bro? A yeah, dur. dude. Yeah. How do you get those rocks Machu up Pichu? there? Machu Picchu. You know, yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely top. that one. The Sphinx with water damage on the by the feet. What? I don't what? Know. what gives? What? The ancient Egyptians talk about ancient people. Like, and what, what is that all about? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Do you? Yeah, maybe. No. What? <laughs> I don't know about coming here and building shit. Oh. I, I think. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, am I the asshole for the how big the universe is? I'm saying like, you know. It's very egocentric of you, but continue. No, I think there's plenty of aliens out there. Just I don't know the possibility of them coming here or why they would come here. You know? But you saw the video. Which video? <laughs> the, oh, the, now he's denying. Which video are we talking about? The one that you just talked about. No, nah, but it was like a little <laughs> thing in the sky. Oh, oh, so you don't think it's real then? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't I don't claim to know things. Let me see. See, the, the, the only problem... <laughs> With Here it is. the phrase UFO <laughs> is that the military can use it and not be lying. It, they still have, what's it, plausible deniability? This is the thing that I'm talking about. Oh, that's the worst US vid- UFO video I've ever seen. This looks like life, a slice bro. of pizza flying around. It, it looks like a plane. Yeah. It looks like a jet. Yeah. looks like one of um, fucking Richard Brownson's Virgin Atlantic space flight. Things. I mean, unless it's like moving in a square pattern and up and down and shit. Apparently it was moving strangely, but mm. uh, people are dumb too. Yeah. And when it oh dude, I don't know. I just You think people will stop being dumb eventually? No. no. Don't be ridiculous. Not and like post singularity, once no. the the AI is like in us, then we're no longer Oh, at that point then it's yeah. It's not up to us then. It's downloaded. But then people are technically <laughs> not dumb. I can't wait. Have you guys seen that I Johnny think- Depp movie where he becomes like part of the internet? Oh, that sounds great. Wreck it, Ralph. <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck, I can't. It's a, it's a long word. I know what you're talking about. Um, I haven't seen it. Though. It's fucking great. Inceptigalization. It's something like that. What happens in it? He he be he dies and then his consciousness is uploaded or something. Yeah, and like and so his consciousness is uploaded, and then he's just like kind of has no information, and he's like trying to convince his ex-wife or the lady that was his wife i guess who's still alive but he's trying to convince her through the computer that to like in. hook him up to the internet so we can just have all the information oh how the computer wore tennis shoes <sighs> wait 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 he, <laughs> wait he's in a computer but and he's trying to what what this sounds like that scene in zoolander it's hard to explain like get the files it. in the computer they're in the computer <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd want to be uploadable. I don't know. I, I think I wouldn't mind dying if I was allowed to come back and check in and see what things would look like every hundred years or so. If if at the end they're like, look, you can be uploaded into the internet forever or you can die and come look every century. I would definitely die and come look. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. The movie's called Transcendence. Hmm. Hmm. That's not a very big word, Will. It's pretty big. Trans bigger than soul. It's three syllables, dude. Yeah. Is it new now? No. No, it, it was 2014. Yeah, oh. I, hmm, I mean, be. what's considered a classic now? How many years? You need 20, 30 years? The Star Wars Attack of the Clones. I'd say at least 50. For something to become a classic? Yeah. Right? Like the Matrix. No, I think. Dude, PlayStation around- be taking liberties because they'll put out like Grand Theft Auto V <laughs> as a classic. It's like <laughs> it's the most recent one. Around. 20 years, I would say. Is 25? It? What is it for music? Because there is like a point where it's like, this is now a golden oldie, you know? A goldie. Yeah. I got mm-hmm. at least a generation. It has to be about 20 to 30 years. Like a generation yeah, okay. has to go yeah, by. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Because like comic books, it's like every 30 years. Mm. Like you go 30 years back, those are your most valuable ones. And speaking of which, did you watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier? I have not yet. Uh, I won't so. say anything. Yeah. 
He's not watching it though. I watched it. You did? <clears throat> yeah. All of it? All on my own mm-hmm. at home. Did you? Are you joking? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I absolutely did not waste my time watching. It's that. not. Oh, you haven't kept up on that. For me, it would be. No, Will. Your opinions and perspectives are wrong. All of them. You got some cool ones, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I liked your uh, your toilet paper spitting out Thanks. pussy thing. Thanks. That was a good perspective on things. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for giving up my bits on the podcast. Just burning that was your bit. Appreciate you, you it. Fucking, you made that shit up on the spot, bro. Yeah. 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 So, what if you wanted to use it, bro? No, I mean, you can use it. You sure? I think I so. I might not now. No, you use it. Ever. Yeah. We'll Cause, see. Because all of our fans listen to this and they'll be aware of that joke when you go. Uh, so. Yeah. There's 17 people <coughs> listen to this, bro. How many people so Somebody's going to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> they can only fit 17 people at Worthington's. Like, <clears throat> it bones me out how little people we can fit back there. Yeah, it's upsetting. Oh. I think it looks cooler. I think it'd be cooler if there were just more heads sitting down. I think it'd be sure. more fun for everybody. Are we able to move it? Can we move it back in the bar? I don't want it in the bar. It's too rowdy. Comics are too loud. Yeah, I agree. You, know? you guys want to talk, and I get it. So that's why we have to separate the show. I'm like. Well, I mean, couldn't we just have the comic? Can we just tell the comics go outside? If you no. Want you can, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> Nobody listens to us. You got to you gotta work around things. And having it back there is And just hope ideal. that they follow the lead. <laughs> yeah, it's like corrals. Just take it on. Take it upon themselves. You ever watch an Australian shepherd try to herd sheep and shit? It's a mess. It's actually not. It's very organized. <laughs> they, but they do it. They work around. They're like, oh, you're coming this way? Oh, I'll come this way. Oh, I'll come this way. I'll cut you off. Let's keep going. Go that way. No, that way. That way, that way. Shepherd dogs are cool. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. No? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. I just like dogs in general. What's the worst animal then? What's the animal? It's like, why are you <laughs> in the spiders? world? In the world, spiders? whatever okay. spiders are in fucking Australia are the worst. Those camel spiders, <laughs> spiders, uh. spiders, and snakes can all fuck right <laughs> off. In Australia, I bet their cans of raid just is like an M sixteen. Most things <laughs> with scales can just be gone. But fish is delicious. Yeah, like they can stay because they're not on land, but like. Land, land scales land scales can get the <laughs> fuck out of here dude all right so sea scales are good land yeah. scales are bad yeah like why are you here this is not your domain yeah they're supposed to die out with the dinosaurs yeah they are Amphibians. dinosaurs i fucking hate an iguana you know <laughs> alligators are basically dinosaurs dude, geckos with their fucking stupid eyes it's like why are you watching everything all at once calm down dude <laughs> I try they to do look have be- stupid eyes. They do. I can't so to look dumb. behind me and in front of me right now. They always look hurts. like they're squinting. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking out everywhere. I didn't know that um, when iguanas and lizards and stuff, at least here, like where I go running and hiking and stuff, they, they're black in the morning. They're totally black. And then they, they use that to absorb more heat when they mm. lay out on the rock, and then they get their colors. When I was living in Victorville, I went hiking up there, and I saw a big lizard that was, like, black. And I was like, oh, this is terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, that was yeah. so scary. Where, like, where where's the, the size line between gecko and iguana? It's just yeah, fucking... I mean, this thing was, like, 12 inches for sure. Because oh, I saw it from a distance. It was on top of a rock, and it looked big. Mm. And I started walking towards it, and it scurried away. But it was at least 10 inches, I would say. You should have had a Pokeball. Dude, I know. Catch that bitch. Could have hit it, too. I'm a baseball player. You know that. <laughs> what are you Worst thinking about, Aaron Chase? Spiders. We got him he's, locked he's, in he's, on he looks, he looks like a gecko. <laughs> 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 no, man. I That's just, my face when I'm like, did I shit myself? <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time for everything. Uh, Those are called callbacks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome. No, I just don't. There's a lot of animals I don't fuck with. Spiders, I'm thinking about. Snakes are. There's something about the way they move. Like, snakes. I feel like snakes move unpredictable and are also like them and octopus are proof aliens are real. They don't have <laughs> feelings. When I found out that spiders jumped, like I didn't know. I I always saw spiders scurry. Which ones? Sp- spiders. <laughs> spider, All of them. That's any can spider jump? can jump upsets yeah. me. Oh. Back home we have um um cane spiders and. And wolf spiders. Oh, wolf spiders suck. What the fuck was a wolf spider? <clears throat> They're they bite you and then they change your DNA. 
They're, I mean, but they look like they do. They look George would have raised them if that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had just seventeen. Dip your hand just in. like yeah. every year. Just is it? Did today? it work yet? Nope. <laughs> Still Doing coming out thing? of my ass like it's supposed to. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> just shitting webs. <laughs> does it? Look, so a wolf spider? What does it look like? I'm um, not gonna look the shit up. It's like black and yeah, brown, right? Yeah, yeah, and they're <laughs> big. <laughs> cane spiders too. Cane spiders like at full like length, they look like your hand, like like that. What's it's the one that? Eight legged freaks? No, though. What? I'm not talking about movies. <laughs> You're so weird. Arachnophobia. <laughs> The one, um, the one spider that like the babies are on its back, and oh, so like when you kill it, if they like scatter, oh, dude. that sounds like that? some fallout shit. <laughs> oh, they're terrible! They're terrible. <clears throat> there was one in my kitchen once, and so you lit it on fire. The no, whole I kitchen. should have. <laughs> I put a glass over it, and then I got like spider spray, and I spray it around the glass. And then just lift it up slowly and just... <laughs> and then it grabs you and pulls you <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Welcome to the simulation, bitch. <laughs> You're now a wizard. <laughs> it's weird. It's like, just, it's just the way they move. That's the yeah, thing horrifying. that... I, but I don't know why that is. Like, when I see a, a lion, it scares me at a different level. It's not the way it moves. It's that it's a fucking lion. It's big and it's strong. But spiders, even ones that aren't dangerous, they just creep me out. Why... It, the, the scuttering it just ugh. yeah it's unpredictable too like lions you you can tell when a lion's you can gonna tell fuck where it's up. gonna go what direction is you can track it but i think because of like the kind of animals we evolved from mm-hmm. like we we're used to tracking those linear things but the spiders are too fuck, fuck. it's too fast <laughs> all over the fucking place <laughs> Is that what spiders sound like? Yep. The wolf spider. That's how you know it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing, dude. <clears throat> what a great video game boss that would be. Yeah. The a wolf giant spider. spider that howls. The arachno wolf. Yeah. Oh, I'm so good at names. A were spider. Oh. Yo, if you were going to become one of those classic monsters, like you could get bit by a werewolf, you get bit by a, 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 a vampire. vampire. Oh, it's only those ones? Can I be like uh, a chimera? So, can, can you be Whoa. bit by a mummy? <laughs> <laughs> is that how that works? I don't know. <laughs> Why is, are that mo- not, is that not one of the classic I monsters? <laughs> can I be bit by the blob? <laughs> Why Why are mummies c- supposed to be scary now that I realize? Like, they don't, don't do. Know. Do they do anything to you? Uh, I mean, they're undead. Is that not scary enough for you? But they're not even like zombies that bite you or try to eat you. They're just. They're musty. Isn't that <laughs> bad enough? You, they get near you and you're just like, you start coughing. Yeah. <laughs> I can't breathe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I in the movies, he was kind of badass, right? Yeah, yeah. He would kill with well, bugs. Well, in, in the movies, te- I guess technically the the mummy is the girl, right? And he's just trying to bring her back to life. Which movies oh, are we talking? Are we talking the about mummy. Brendan Fraser? Yeah. Or are we talking about yeah. Her? Yeah, I'm talking about like old school mu- mummy. Anaxunamun. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be bit by a vampire. Why, dude? That seems like it would hurt. Live forever. Sleep upside down. Yeah. <laughs> you can't go outside in the heat. Uh, yeah. You guys clearly haven't read Blade. Blade is great. Doesn't don't all of them die in that movie? Or is Blade a vampire too? He's like half vampire. Blade's a oh. daywalker. He's a daywalker. Oh. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that movie? Daywalker? Yeah, or Daywalkers. It was something like that. What? Forty days, forty nights. <laughs> that movie? No, it was a vampire movie with like Colin. Oh, uh, something or other. Oh, and Willem Dafoe. Fuck! I know what you're talking about. Uh, I think it was called Daywalkers. No, no, it was something. Nightwalkers. No. It, was something it was something like that. Night stalkers. Night. I don't know. Creepers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I went. I I, uh, I watched um, the first episode of Film Favorites. Guys, check out Film Favorites. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, we watched Near Dark, and it's this '80s action romance movie about vampires in like Texas, and it's fucking violent. I think I've seen that. It's great. Spoilers: They blow up apparently in the, and they don't. They don't sparkle. Or they don't like come turn to fire. They blow up if they're in uh, the the sun. Yeah, I think I awesome. saw that movie a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's from the eighties. It's fun. I'm, I don't know. I just like Blade. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be cool. Look, I could be a vampire. I get super strength. Then I can have a sword. I don't I'm know. in. Can I be like a lich? What the fuck is a lich? Like a like a undead 
warlock thing. You fucking nerd, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a it's a skeleton with a staff. Sure. Oh wait, no. You want to work on the Black Pearl? Be a spellcaster, dude. Yeah, bro. That's cool. That's cool, right? It's like um <clears throat> But like when you're not doing creepy shit and you're just sitting there drinking coffee, you just kind of look weird. What well, is some great coffee? <laughs> That's like that dude that serves Sauron in Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah. Kind right? of, huh? What yeah, is that thing's cool. name? I don't think it has a name, dude. Mm. Lich. No. No, so, I don't know. They do have names. The fucking they have, I mean, rider. they're, co- yeah. There's lore. Lore. There's lore. Lore galore, bro. <laughs> lore galore. That's yeah. going to be uh, my third special. Lore galore. <laughs> Featuring <laughs> Pat Oswald from the Talking Into Existence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure. You guys are not encouraging with my careers. Your career paths? Yeah. Paths. I'm going to be an astronaut. I'm trying to be encouraging with my own. I don't so. think... I don't think George needs encouragement. <clears throat> I'm going to be an ash. Well, I got this far without it. You're going to yeah. be all of them? All of them. You're going to end up being all of them at some point? I'm going to try. Yeah. Be a Fuck sniper. yeah. I think of all the people at this table, Just George contract. George represents the phrase, you can be anything you really set your mind to. Except president. Except president. <laughs> <laughs> I guess technically we, based off of the standards set so far, we could become president yeah, and no, George, George. I mean, unless the rock wins, then. Yeah, then you, then you, he's kicked the door open. No, I want you. you guys to be president so I can try and kill you. That's your sniper mission? That's, my first, <laughs> yeah. That's how I get double O status, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you guys are my first kills. <laughs> That's fair. That'd be kind of sick. Yeah. In one shot. Oh, that's how you get triple O status. Yeah, dude. Yeah, no, I can only get double. Oh, I don't know if I could do that. Um, yeah, you can. No. You just got to get the right angle. You're right. See, you are encouraging to my career. <laughs> You're such a good friend. <laughs> just get me from the dome, bro. Yeah, make it quick at least. I watched the Zabruda film recently. Oh. That's random. <laughs> it really cool. looks like they used a graphing calculator to record it. It's. It looks bad. But we were watching it in class and... Uh, I never actually watched it. Never saw Sniper his... School. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We don't talk about it. Uh, and I was interpreting. I was interpreting a class, oh. and they were showing you had to was... you had to learn how to sign back into the left. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what does it look over like? Over and over. Okay, is that in context with? It would have to be in context. If if it was without context, I would be literally saying "won't left." If you were to take all the context out of it, that would be... Wouldn't That's it? very interesting. Yeah, but with context, it would be to the back and the left. What a weird video to have to watch in yeah. class. Yeah, oh, did what you kind guys, of class Did you guys have this? to watch 9-11? Uh, this no. blood spatter analysis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're going to get to 9-11. That There's beheading <laughs> with the dull knife <laughs> this from conspira- 2001? Conspiracy 302? What the it, fuck is a, this? It was a history yeah. class, and they show those kids real shit. Is this in college? No. Oh, they uh no they wonder kids them. are broken these days. It was first grade. Uh they <laughs> <laughs> wow. fucking faces of death with Mrs. Matthews. You know the uh the 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 you have to get a permission slip signed. <laughs> you know the picture of the guy who gets his head blown off and thing is Vietnam? Um the soldier you, you, oh, fuck. I've seen plenty of heads blown off. Yeah. I don't know which one you're talking about. Let, let's see. Like, I don't know if I need to see like, this. Like the congressman. Was it a congressman or the secretary of state or whatever? The the politician who offed himself on camera? Yeah, that one's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, dude? Because it's such one. a con. You seen this picture? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. They showed the video of this guy actually getting his head blown off multiple times in front of the kids. And the kids looked completely desensitized. They didn't look like wow. they gave a fuck. They were just like, yeah, yeah, that's what happens. That's how we do things. That's what happens. <laughs> that's, what, that's what happens when you pull up on nine, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they showed them. They showed that. They showed uh, the Zapruder film like multiple like, times. Yeah, that's the streets, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's cr- being on a school campus now is creepy as fuck. As an adult, I'm sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like with the, the, the COVID stuff and they have the um, they have these little like plastic barriers between each each student and none of the oh, kids that's weird it's super weird none of them interact none of them talk when they like <laughs> they all have phones like they're in jail <laughs> that's basically <laughs> talking to each other <laughs> no it's just, it's like the can on the string <laughs> that just goes each way yo they uh w- they can't even send notes the teachers are super efficient now like now they're used to being like all right let's get all this shit done so we'll get everything done we'll have like 20 minutes left and they'll be and the teacher will be like okay guys talk amongst yourselves and then it just gets quiet 
and everyone looks down at their phones, and then it's they just ha- they allow them to have phones. Yeah, they've been having phones. Oh phone. my That's god, weird. that is so weird. Oh yeah. no, the phones are everywhere now. They use the phones. They for... just assume like, there's <clears throat> nothing we can do about it at this point. There is nothing. They do Kahoot. You ever? Hey, how's your cubicle? <laughs> 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 like they're just getting them ready for the real world. Yeah, man. They 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 need their phones at certain points. Like the way they've set up school now, they they need yeah. their phones. It's mm-hmm. crazy. That's probably cheaper too than the the schools. Like we don't have to provide computers now. What are we going to do with this extra $30,000? Let's get a raise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me run your schools, guys. I'm sure it's that simple. Yeah. I think George sure would is, be a, a hilarious superintendent. <laughs> he would give everyone say, samurai swords. To I'd prepare. walk around in a cape. <laughs> Two kids have a problem. You're like, all right, well, why don't you guys fight it out? Yeah. Like, jiu-jitsu. <laughs> yeah. I mean, agree on yeah. a martial art. Look, but... I'll, I'll lock this bathroom door. <laughs> Knock when you're done. You have three <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Were you ever in the bathrooms during the fights in middle school and shit? No, they never happened in the bathroom because uh, the people that went to my school weren't pussies. Mm. I was never invited Aww. because my dad was a teacher. Oh, yeah, I was left out of some stuff because of that, which what? is fine. Is it middle school? Like, it's probably stuff I shouldn't have been involved in anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, I got into enough shit as it was. So I had I had dudes squaring up in like the courtyard. Yeah. I saw some fights like in the lunchroom and shit. That was kind of cool. Yeah, there was. Um, I would say dudes very often would go outside because I don't know. I guess that's, that's in, in really high school. Stigma. That's what you hear. Let's go outside. Let's take you yeah, outside. Yeah. And then they'd square up in the court. Yeah, like where I used to have lunch. It was <laughs> the yeah. There was like go a on square some grass. Well, that's what I'm saying. It was oh, a okay. square grass area, and then there was like one walkway through, but it was surrounded with benches. So a lot of times dudes would square up there in the middle, and so we would all just turn around with our lunches, like, oh, we're getting a show today. Cool. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and just have lunch, and then you'd see the golf carts pull up and separate them. Oh, your school but, was fancy, but mm. by by then, I mean, you you knew who, who was gonna win the fight, regardless. Yeah, it was cool. It always looked like UFC. Everyone knew everything. It was dope. There was this. I had this girl. I can't remember her name. I probably shouldn't say regardless, but she was like big. She was like the big girl, and she always got made fun. She people called her an ogre and mm. shit. And this nice. dude, yeah, <laughs> and this this, this that's dude, a huge bitch. <laughs> this dude said the wrong shit to her on the wrong day, and she. Fucked him up. I mean, <laughs> she got his head and slammed him on the on the bricks. Like she, oh. she it was, who's the fucking dude from uh from from Mortal Kombat with the forearms? Goro. Goro. It was like if Goro fought a middle schooler. Yeah. She's like, yo, I got 15 years of this rage <laughs> built up. Your teeth are going to go into this fucking floor. Yeah, he apologized afterwards. So. I'm sure he did. <laughs> yeah. Through the blood and yeah. fucking When they took the straw teeth. out of his fucking mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Six months later. Pulled the wires out of his <laughs> jaw. <laughs> and put the re- so reconstructed his jaw. They probably hired Aaron to interpret for him. <laughs> He says he's sorry. He he said my bad. Yeah. <laughs> so that shit was wild. Yeah, that's why you don't talk shit, you know? Size matters. Everyone's like, I could kick anyone's ass. It's like, yo, weight classes are a thing <laughs> for a reason. Yeah. Don't fuck with big dudes or girls. Don't fuck with girls. Yeah, there's a ruthlessness about girls, especially in middle school. They're too ready to fight sometimes. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> especially girls that have never been hit. They're too ready to fight. Yeah. <clears throat> And they're scrappy. Yeah. I, I admire it, though, I guess. The willingness to square up. Someone squares up against you, Will, do you, you square up? What do you, what do, you do? Depends do you, on the situation. Definitely I don't depends do on the situation. Depends. In what situation would you feel obligated to square up and defend yourself? Um, if I thought that I could beat them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Will would fight most of the comedians. Nah. No, no. I mean, I think no. you could take a good deal of the comics. Okay, I'd, I'd do it for fun. Like, if anyone wants to just glove up and and, and box, nah, holler at your I don't boy. Want to fight though? Good. I like to watch fights. <laughs> you never, you never. Oh, you don't have like anger issues. You don't feel that <laughs> that anger, the blood's on your knuckles, and you're breathing heavy, and you got I've sweat never trickling down. Had that in my <laughs> life. <laughs> You have that that adrenaline rush? I've never had that. Usually what happens to me is I get an adrenaline dump and I have the <laughs> and I can't do anything about can't it. Can't breathe. I'm just fucking I, <laughs> there's nothing left in the tank. I should give up, but I'm not going to. I'll just wait till the clock goes out. <laughs> yeah. That sounds fun though. 
There's something about redlining it that I, I appeals to me. Redlining? Yeah, like just going 100% as yeah. hard as you can, whatever you can, and uh, coming back from it. I think that's appealing to me. I guess as long as you do come back from it is... Uh... Yeah. Sometimes you don't, though. I know some dudes who've never been in a fight, but like would spar regularly, and they're a little punchy. They're hard to talk to sometimes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Too focused on their own thoughts. They're not listening. They're just talking, talking. Like right now, I'm just, I just keep talking. <laughs> I just don't have any input for this podcast right now. Just me. Cool. Yeah, I'll just go fuck myself. No, no. Yeah. I'm totally fine. I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever? What? Oh, no. This is a dumb question. Probably. Have you ever actually used a pocket pussy? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Bro. Nice. <laughs> nice bro what, uh, yeah, was I was gonna it? ask to borrow yeah it. yeah I just, wanna, <laughs> I just wanna sniff it see what it uh, <laughs> it, smel- it smells like kinda like a condom wait do you still like, have it yeah really yeah you like wash it out and clean it and yeah. shit I don't use it that often nice man well, who's who's the porn star that you you picked Jenna uh, Hayes there, there is there's not one Raven Riley uh, it's not uh, particular. Uh, it's not particular uh, 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 Sasha Gray that's that's what you have. Yeah, that girl had, champion. Had. That girl I is feel like, a mm. train wreck, but she knows how to take a dick. <laughs> <laughs> She's a professional. She really is. I got it in college. I used it once, and I was like, oh, I don't want to clean this. This is too much work. And then I just got mm. rid of it. But you, you sit down with a toothbrush in front of your TV. You clean it out, talking to it. I generally use it in the shower, so... I just huh. clean it after. Say it slower. In the shower? What color yeah. is it? Flesh colored. Mm. White flesh colored. Oh, <laughs> typical. I'm surprised typical. you don't get a black pocket pussy, bro. He felt it was too stereotypical. That's fair. If he gets robbed, they're going to be like, what the fuck is this shit in his It, in w- his it would be easier to hide. <laughs> 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 When's your birthday? August 12th. I don't... <laughs> Right now, it's today. <laughs> Happy birthday on this episode of the Buddy Cast. <laughs> okay, uh, it's in November. Okay, cool man. Thank they're, you. And when's your birthday, George? August twelfth. Have you ever had a pocket pussy? No. Okay, cool. I don't need a pocket pussy. You have your hand. I have a pussy. What do I need a pocket pussy for? I don't know. Did you have it when you had a girlfriend? Yeah, I've had it a while. How long is a while? I don't know. Does it have a name? Is a that, how, is that no. a while? <laughs> no, I never went that far. Come here, Claudia. Hmm. Not that weird. Hmm. No. Yeah, I don't need one. Why would I need one? Just fuck your girlfriend. I live with mine. What? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you're. if you give me a pocket pussy, you're giving me a chore, and I don't like that. I don't want to clean it. No. Like, I don't like hand-me-downs because I don't want to throw away your trash. That's yeah, that's why, <laughs> generally speaking, I don't, even, I don't use it. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Just sits on his coffee table as a conversation piece. <laughs> <laughs> Just What's put the instruction <laughs> manual under What's it. What's this? Oh, it's in case it gets dark. There's a light in it and a GPS tracker. <laughs> it's a vase, actually. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of shove the flowers into it. <laughs> 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 the thorn gets stuck in it. <laughs> oh, now, rips it. Now, now, it's, now it's like a tributary in a river. You can just <laughs> you can go left, you can go right. Here's the white waters. That's something I wouldn't uh, do. White water, white water rafting? No, fuck. Really? That. Yeah, no. I've no, done no, it. No, 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 no. I'm not I did it when I was a kid. I'm not into that. That seems like up your alley. No. Yeah, no, I agree. No. I figured you'd be all about that. No, yeah. What's wrong with that? I I don't like having to set up that much equipment for my activity like i like rock climbing but i don't like having to put on my harness the real up. the real thing that's weird is like starting here and then ending somewhere else that's not the beginning you know mm. yeah you can't go back around yeah yeah it's not like a circle so yeah. like it's like taking one of those good long hikes where you like you go to the top and then you come all the way down and then they, they got to have like someone shuttle you back to your car because that's where you yeah, started yeah Annoying. Or you do it the right way and you start at the bottom, but fuck. We got to wrap this up soon because I still got to go to work, guys. Oh, poor guy. You know, white water rafting school. Have you ever been jet skiing? No. Oh, dude, jet skiing. Jet so skiing fun. sounds fun. I want to go skydiving. So yeah, I'd do that. I want to go skydiving. Sky Come on, bu- sky dude. Buddies. Why not? <laughs> we can be the air buds. <laughs> 
I just want on my my parachute is a picture of that dog. We should all up. just wear dog masks, <laughs> <laughs> golden retriever we're, masks. We're gonna go skydiving, and Aaron's gonna throw up in the on the ground. Yeah, I'll watch. <laughs> I'll drink. <laughs> I'll drink on the ground. He'll be, he'll be in the restaurant, just bloody Marys all fucking day. Yeah, I'll watch you guys go skydiving. What? I'm not going skydiving. Why not? Because it's fucking skydiving. Because I don't want to go skydiving. I don't understand. I wonder how much it costs. Sweet. Who wants to go skydiving with us? Does anybody know? I bet Justin Harper knows people who could help us out. For sure. I'm not looking for a hookup. I just want to know someone that's doing it right. They're mm-hmm. skydiving in uh, tour. If you drive towards Temecula, they have a little skydiving area. I don't, want to go towards I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, that sounds like better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, is, is I would, should we do the indoor skydiving first? Oh, that sounds gay. <laughs> you can go tandem skydiving for ten thousand. Oh, from ten thousand feet for one hundred and fifty-five dollars. Oh, what? That's pretty cheap. I'm about to buy a squirrel suit if that's all it costs, bro. I'll bang, <laughs> I'll bang out two thousand jumps a uh, real quick. <laughs> Is there are there different tiers of like heights? Yeah, there's. If you go, dude, higher, let's go fucking space height. <laughs> uh, thirteen, thirteen. Go to RedBull.com. Yeah, dude. <laughs> thirteen thousand feet is for one hundred eighty-five. Oh, okay. So it goes. It's by. The, I guess they're charging you for the fuel. Oh, that makes to sense. get yeah. to get up. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, it, man. You guys should keep go going, skydiving. Keep going. Oh, that's all it says. Oh, dude, there's only two. But I met. A dude, I want to hit like twenty k, dude. I like, met a dude who was like a skydive instructor, and he was one of the craziest white dudes I know. Yes, it, <laughs> like, that makes sense. Yeah, he was a, perfect. Sense. He was a dishwasher at Chili's with me. It was. It was dude, I feel like to be able to do that, you have to like go skydiving like after work and shit. Like you're like, oh, I'm out of work. All right, let me go down to the have the a runway. Jumps. Yeah, to get a couple jumps in. That's your that's your hobby. Dude, that's you crazy. have these. Your life is insane. Like, what is your job? Dishwasher at Chili's, <laughs> <laughs> just chilling all day. I would go water skiing. I would go. What is the oh, water skiing? Hard, dude. Uh, oh, cool. I would do that because I'm not falling from the sky. Um, or I would do the Even, um, the parachute tu- one. Tubing no. behind a boat was tubing. Oh, that's a good time. You know, like inflatable tubes. Oh, that sounds like fun. Like it's towed behind a boat. Yeah, that's a good time. But I would do the one where you get on the water skis and then you have a parachute tied to you and then you're in the air. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like the oh parasailing. parasailing. Pair, yeah. That's what it's called. Par- I would yeah. go parasailing. Yeah. So if y'all want to go parasailing. I've never done that. Dude, we should tell him we're going parasailing. And go skydiving. And then cut the line. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? We're skydiving. Welcome. Think about it, dude. 13,000 feet is really not that high. Okay. Whatever yeah. you say, Will. <laughs> I wonder um, how long it takes you to f- get down. Standard flight, 95 a person for parasailing. That's, I'd rather, I'd go, rather skydiving. go skydiving yeah, for 20 more, more dollars. More bang for your buck, what for sure. What the fuck? Right, you guys and I fun. get a cool video yeah, do you? and a pack. I'm sure yeah, they're they, going to they sell you a, fo- a photo package and shit. I had a roommate in college who had the video of it. Oh. Like, his cheeks just expanded. <sighs> yeah. It's crazy. That sounds fun. I'd, yeah. I'd be the only one crying. I don't know why I said yes. I don't know why. <laughs> I support your guys' decision to go skydiving. I think you guys should. I agree. I just don't know why you don't want to join us. There's a lot of reasons why I don't want to. It sounds like there's only one. Because I'm afraid. Yeah. That's all that really matters. I mean, so am I. Yeah, that's but the best part. That's the point. It's, it's unknown. Ah. Yeah, you might die. Yeah. That's the whole point. That's what's <laughs> yeah. fun about what it. What are you afraid of? <laughs> dying? Are you afraid of dying? Yes and no. You're going to Chicago, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes and no. I don't know. You're not afraid of dying? It's more like how you die. Yeah. It frees yeah. Like the idea of falling and being lo- and knowing that you're not the parachute isn't coming out. If I was going to kill myself, it would not be from jumping off of something. Cuz uh, now you're how in How would you do it? Gun? Yeah. Yeah, of course. You're, I, that's your answer to everything. That is the answer to everything. This is America, Will. But maybe if you don't if you don't love America, you can get out. I feel like I'm I would probably just reach in a point of acceptance like if I knew the parachute wasn't gonna open it's like oh this is how i go this is interesting <laughs> oh, well i'm gonna make the news <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's gonna be dope it's gonna be the most headlines yeah. i'm ever gonna get yeah, uh, yeah. i mean I, people again, are gonna be real sad yeah because like if i die skydiving it's not like i made the decision and then i'm like oh no i don't want to kill myself you know like i didn't jump off a building and then change my mind halfway through what happened was the parachute didn't work and now i'm fucked I'm like there's nothing i could do about that yes but the amount for me the at amount that point of also time, i'm cutting off from the dude behind me for real dude i'm gonna try to do some <laughs> tricks i play a lot of yeah, spider-man dude. i'm gonna do a couple back i just yeah and i want to make sure i'm going in head first <laughs> straight up and down so, like i don't want to be the guy that survives 
times the fucking. I want to break the sound barrier. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like when I would come down, I wanted to be like boom. Boom! You know, that's what I wanted to sound like. I want my helmet to <laughs> melt off from the friction. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> I want to be unconscious before I even hit the ground. I'm trying to get some speed, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> get this blood to my feet. Uh, if if you die, I'll uh, die with you, bro. We'll race. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, George, my shit isn't working. You'll be like, all right, clip. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to lose your certification, <laughs> boy. <laughs> oh, best GoPro videos ever. <laughs> we go viral. This, our uh, scene would blow up. Honestly, for sure, if for we're being sure. real, <laughs> we get so much coverage. Oh, my God. And on that note, <laughs> that brings gonna, us to the end. We're going skydiving. That's what <laughs> yeah. we decided. This whole podcast was just one big, should we go? Why I just you, looked up. giving us his face? I just looked up botch skydiving on YouTube. That's fine. Why? Why are you doing that? <sighs> yeah. You should watch botched squirrel suit videos. Those are fucking gnarly. Why don't you watch botched people walking down the street, dude? People die. That's you just know? that's just called um, fail videos. Accident, fail videos. No, I'm, just, I'm talking about like people dying, yeah, getting hit by cars and shit. Like, people die. Yeah, man. Shit happens. Yeah. Might as well have a good time. No, I support you guys going skydiving. Yeah. Man. So you should go with no, us. No, no, no. And we can die I, together as a pack, <laughs> as we as all a hold brotherhood. Hands. Yeah. Yeah. In a circle. Yeah. All right. He's not gonna do it. I'm not He's going not to do going it. Going to, to. No way. Good night. Drop your sosh. Uh, one eared elephant with enough. I'm, I'm at the George F. Go to www.thebuddysystem.co for everything. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye. <laughs>